Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our verse by verse series in Second Peter chapter one. Uh, we are actually in verse five. And as you can see on the screen there, we're going to do actually three verses. I know I said I was going to do verse by verse, but I one I missed yesterday. So I apologize for that. Uh, just crazy uh, how busy it got. Um, so I missed yesterday and got to cover that verse. But then also, I think the 21st is, is rapidly approaching and, and I may have miscalculated starting this thing. So I got to kind of make up a couple of verses. So um, this is a good one to kind of bring together because it's uh, if you're reading it on screen, it actually is uh, talking about um, it's all one kind of thought, I guess. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll read it together for this very reason. Uh, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness knowledge, and to knowledge self-control, and to self-control perseverance, and to perseverance godliness, and to godliness mutual affection, and to mutual affection love. And um, I kind of have a, a quick screenshot here, if I can get it, um, of this, and I'm going to kind of use this to talk through, but I kind of see it as more of a kind of a wheel. Um, we're continually always uh, moving and, and growing in, in Jesus Christ. And so as we turn to him and we continue to, to, to move closer to him and, and kind of die to ourselves, it says, uh, just, and all that really just means is, you know, every day I'm making a decision that I'm going to kind of put my um, desires aside and, 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 first do what uh, Jesus calls me to do. And so as I do that, um, this kind of wheel is, 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 is happening in me, right? Like I, I, I get knowledge and, and through that knowledge, now I got to have some self-control with that. And then I got to, I got to stand firm in that knowledge when the evil one tries to tempt me with things and, and, when others say, well, you're crazy, you know, so I got to stand firm. And in that, then I get some, some, a little bit more of that godliness. I, I become more like him is really all that God. It's not like we're, we're a God, um, like some religions believe. Uh, no, we're just, we're becoming more like him. Uh, and then after that, then we can start kind of looking towards others, right? Brotherly love, or I mean, brotherly affection and love. And that love there, if, if, you know, you've been around the Christian circle, you know, the whole agape love, that's the original word. Um, that's like the love love. That's not like our, you know, um, that's not like the lustful love or, you know, the, it's actually the, I die to myself kind of love. Like I love, um, someone irregardless of, of what they are doing. It's a selfless love. And so, um, and then you kind of start the process over. Like that's, that's the great thing. You can be just starting out in Jesus Christ, or you can be, uh, 40 years in, into Jesus Christ, and you still have more knowledge from the Lord to gain. And so, um, just really want to kind of, if ask the question of what is it that, where are you in that, um, range in that little wheel there? Uh, because that's kind of a good picture of where you should kind of start praying and, and what you should really start, you know, kind of communicating with Jesus about, uh, because if you want to love someone unconditionally, like, let's just talk about a relationship. Uh, let's talk about if, if you're married, you know, a relationship, if you want to love that person unconditionally, or if you want your husband or wife to love you unconditionally, but they are kind of in still don't really even know they, they don't have self-control for instance, that's the place to start. Uh, don't, don't beat yourself up on, on the fact of, I can't, um, love my wife the way I want to, um, start working on yourself, start working on the self-control aspect, start communicating to Jesus, um, in that circle, wherever you find yourself. And then eventually you'll get there. You'll get uh, to where you need to be. And so, uh, hopefully that's just an encouragement to you. Um, take a, take a few minutes and, and pray to him and, and take a look at this and, and just, uh, see, you know, where you're at uh, in this chapter in life. Uh, all right. Thanks, everyone. We're getting really close to, to Sunday. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll be able to see you guys in person. Uh, or you can check us online, uh, Steadfast Gretna online, uh, Sunday the 21st um, for, for, for the, the main event. All right. See ya.